Christ would here. I am in the process of identity theft, identity change. Compliments of William Billy Waldridge. I am being changed to look like him. He is being hidden. He is being protected. He can verify this. He can prove this. He can implicate OPP involved. 402 days of crime on me, injuring, torturing me, brain damaging me, being lived through, having illegal OPP surveillance put into me, no criminal record or history, no brain problems prior to or after or prior to August 2019, but when this started, I now have electroshock in me, lobotomizing me. I, like I said, I am in a process of identity theft, identity change, lies, cover-ups, medical record falsifications, medical discrimination, compliments of OPP and, and mental health worker involved in this. Dangerous, guilty, um, sex offenders, human sex trade, slavery trafficking, the poor, the homeless, lies, cover-ups, 402 days of being injured, brain damage, compliments of Spencer Mills, compliments of mental health worker through William Billy Woldridge, who is the husband, who is the crime boss, who is being hidden, who is being protected, who is the Paul Bernardo of Lennox and Addington. He is an informant, he is a rat, he is being hidden and protected. I am being changed to look like him. They took his prisoner tracking out of him, put it into me for this agenda revenge crime. And the reason is because I was speaking of OPP crimes taking place at the Morning Star Mission here in Napanee. Human homeless trafficking to bring in um, the homeless to make the situation seem more than what it wasn't to collect funds. And in return, the homeless never benefited from it except for receiving a shower at the mission. <clears throat> so, with that being said, they put illegal AI in me, nanotech in me, electroshock in me, remote neural monitoring broadcast surveillance on me, neural link cochlear attachments on me. I have no feeling in my head, no feeling in my brain. I've pretty much been lobotomized. Like this. And I'm being going through identity theft, identity change to look like William Billy Woldridge, who once again is Spencer Mills' wife being hidden protected this is how opp are committing sex assaults this is how opp are committing homicides they are causing cancers in people they are pontius pilots sitting back cyber terrorism cyber torture crimes while well, they're sitting back like pontius pilots washing their hands getting away with felony murder crimes once again through William Billy Walters, but I am showing my tattoos for body identification purposes in case, well, not in case this happens, but it will happen. I have no feeling in my head except for electricity. No surgeries prior to August of 2019, so I can prove all this in me. I can prove the damage is being done to me. It's like I'm going through a transfer of consciousness transfer with this piece of shit who's numbing me down to dumb me down to benefit him, to benefit everybody involved. Murderers and dangerous felony offenders of Lennox and Addington, OPP, Spencer Mills, 14716, Staff Sergeant, Black hair, approximately 30, 35 years old, Shannon Cork, blonde hair, glasses, ex-chief who's now gone, left and went to Belleville, ex-OPP, Robert Lucas, the guy that says he can F people, kill people, get away with it, badge, gun, family money, town council at the time, proving 100% right, and tall, short, blonde haired mental health worker at Daily Tea Company at, here in Lennox and Addington. They also have a crime cover-up doctor at Lennox and Eddington Hospital. Her last name starts with V. She is the one that got me medically blacklisted. She is the one that got me medically discriminated against conveniently after talking to a mental health worker who is involved with this. And <clears throat> she is the one that gave William Billy Woldridge the electroshock to brain damage me, to lobotomize me for this. 
was supplied the remote neuro monitoring surveillance and everything through OPP illegally, like I said, no criminal record or history, but because I was talking of their crimes, they took this upon themselves to do this to me. They had no reason to arrest me, no reason to shoot me. They've tried to label me as being a drug addict, not true. They've tried to label me as being suicidal, not true. But it worked at the time because I have long hair tattoos. They assumed it to be true because it was coming from mental health and uh, cops who were all in this together. But I'm showing my tattoos for body identification purposes for when I disappear. William Billy Woldridge, I am being changed to look like him while he is being hidden. I'm being fucking deformed. I have no feeling in my head and face except for electricity now. I'm losing my memories because of him. This benefits OPP, especially with me talking of criminal and civil lawsuits. 30 to 25 to 30 million dollars, 402 days, 403 days of being going through this from OPP. This is how they're getting away with human trafficking, sex assaults, sex offenses, identity thefts, torture, injuring, brain damaging victims, including attempted homicides on the elderly. My mother, a 77 year old woman. This is the kind of cops here in Napanee that are take, that are doing this and getting away with it very successfully, mainly on the poor, the homeless, natives, spiritual people, Muslims. So be watch out. Watch yourself, adults, watch your children. He is being hidden, he is being protected, he is dangerous, he is a psychiatric patient out on early release. This is an agenda revenge crime on me, it's not mental illness, it's not about conspiracy or hate towards cops. This is about criminal cops getting away with serious felony offenses. With William Billy Woldridge, XOPP and a mental health worker. I'm showing my tattoos now. Take this serious. This is for my body identification purposes because my old self is being destroyed. Compliments of OPP and William Billy Waldridge so they can get away with crimes on me in hopes because he is an informant that I get shot or I get taken. He's an early release psychiatric patient. He's five arrest refusals on him. He needs arresting. He needs return back to the hospital. He needs help. He is committing murder with the help of the ones named to end a lot of other serious felony offenses. If OPP can get away with this and discredit me, they get out of criminal and civil lawsuits. Simple as that, and that's what this is about. And this is how they've been getting away with these kind of crimes and out of civil and criminal lawsuits. They're brain damaging and lobotomizing their victims. Like I said, lies and cover-ups too. I'm losing my fucking hair because I am being broadcasted through and I have so much electricity going through me. I cannot get medical help anymore. Compliments of lies put against me from OPP and from mental health worker to get away with this to assure this crime on me with them and William Billy Woldridge. Love all hate none. Christwood, September 2nd. 2020.
September 3rd, 2020.